a whole load of photos of my family, uh, with a grave candle in front of them. And what have we got here? A pair of pliers? I'll take those, and the candle. I don't need the other stuff right now. There's a rope dangling right in front of the window. Is that supposed to be a hint? Better take it, I guess. One ruby's enough. The ruby fits exactly into the socket on the hilt of the sword. the right key for that. There's a spiral staircase here. I can't see how far down it goes. It has to be a good few stories. Ladies first. Are you scared? Or are you exercising your role as lord of the manor? The guardian isn't allowed to die. Those were your words. I'm just playing it safe. That's supposed to be the catacombs. Looks like the sewer system. Patience, this is just the beginning. A hefty chain. It's hanging into the water. In this environment, there can only be a whirlpool. Huh, the water's been standing there for some time. I reckon that's the remains of the water from putting out the fire. At any rate, it's not normal sewage. Valentina. Yes. Someone's leaving me messages describing the virtues of a guardian. You don't happen to know anything about that, do you? I wrote them. They were tests to see if you could become the next guardian in spite of the curse. I had assumed that apart from Victoria, there was only Angelina, but she was nowhere to be found. There was no time. Victoria lay on her deathbed. She was the last guardian. It had to be settled. When we heard that you were maintaining that you were a Gordon and were also innocent of any crime, then the Vatican changed its plan. We had to assure ourselves that you were still of pure heart, and you passed all the tests. But you weren't there. True. I wasn't there. All right, Miss Undercover. The room in which Mordred crossed over into me. Do you know anything about it? What kind of room is it? A kind of ritual chamber. Skulls everywhere, a throne. They investigated a ritual chamber in the old academy. But all the records were lost in a fire around 1512. And the knowledge of it was lost in the process as well. So no, I know even less about it than you do. So what actually is this black mirror then? We think it's a kind of portal. And where does it lead? Nobody knows exactly. And it's a dangerous thing to investigate. Mordred tried. But the Black Mirror enslaved them. Pope Innocent III believed it might lead to the destruction of Christianity. What we know for sure is that it's older than anything else on Earth. I thought it might have been built by pagan druids or something like that. It's much, much older than that. The druids used it for ceremonies, yes, but they definitely didn't build it. 
It's been there since the dawning of time, so they say. Holy crap. So, so what is it then? We can only speculate. The mirror attracts evil, or how should I put it, absorbs it. According to the old druidic scriptures, there were regular human sacrifices. Apparently, the altar table in front of the Black Mirror portal was already drenched in century-old blood back then. The souls of the sacrifices are drawn into the mirror, but only if they're absolutely evil. The soul of a good person cannot enter the mirror. It seems to be something like... yes... like... The gateway to hell, perhaps? Yes. And no. Not just the gate, but the mirror too. Glancing into it reveals the innermost self. It reflects the soul for everyone to see. I wonder what the Pope would see if he looked into it. And all the dignitaries of the world. No wonder the entrance has to be guarded. But times have changed. Why don't we just have a look at the thing? Purely scientifically, I mean. Evil can also break out of the mirror. Its effect is unbound. You can feel its power yourself. Who's ever susceptible is enticed into evil. That's why life in the castle is so dangerous. It's right within its sphere. Mortard was... changed. The spark of evil that always smoldered within him was fanned into a blazing fire. He did everything he could to open the portal. Rumors suggest that he almost found the mechanism. I can't see any other exit here. Can you? Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we're in a dead-end street. But it can't be, though. It has to continue somewhere. Maybe there's another secret passage. Certainly not out of the question. Keep your eyes open. There are hieroglyphics etched all around here. Did the druids build these walls? There's a bird and a head chiseled in here. There's a fish and a hand on this column. Here's a pitchfork and a flower. Here's an illustration of a house and a jar. A bird relief. I think that's supposed to be a house. Or a shack. is half full of a white salt, probably for when it's icy. I'll take a handful of grit salt with me, just in case I have to help some old grandma cross an icy street. So now I've got the option to connect something up down there. A candle for the dead.
Here's the end of the extension cable. A construction light, just like the ones all around the castle, except without any power. Energy. There's a thick electric cable hanging from the roof, just above a puddle of water. Craig was right. It isn't safe down here. Empty. I'm guessing that they used to store wine or beer here back in the day. Those days are long gone, though. Boxes of empty wine bottles. Just in case there's a life for me after Mordred, I'm gonna give this castle a real cleanup and throw it all of this old junk. Well... Valentina! Can you hear me? Yes. That's the water pump, which they use to pump away the extinguishing water. It's a real monster, and ancient, too. I'm surprised that thing even works. Hmm. Quite a clear design. The motor's on the right, the pump device is on the left. The two are connected with a long shaft. The wire rope is wrapped tightly around the pipe. I guess it's an earth for the water pump. I'll put the cable into the connecting terminal on the pump. Chili's a miss. The puddle seasoned enough. I guess that's the main switch for the electricity in the cellar. Who needs fuses if you've got such a big lever? The electricity is on. I should be careful where I step and what I touch. Must be a seriously heavy water bucket if you need a chain like that to lift it. Hmm. If I wrap the chain around the drive shaft, I could use the water pump as a winch. I hope the motor's powerful enough. My improvised chain winch. I'm quite proud of it. You can turn the pump on and off with that. You can even adjust the direction of rotation and the speed. Theoretically, I could pump the cellar full of water again. Slowly or quickly. Hmm. No electricity. I think that's the power connection for the water pump. Uh, I guess there were no power plugs back then. Oh, well, that's just one pole. Does this thing use direct current? So that thing on the pipes isn't an earth. It's probably the second pole.
The power cable is now hanging through the grill and straight into the water. city is off again. If it weren't for me being a former student of physics, I'd call that kind of action suicide. Now, the end of the cable's hanging directly in the water. The electricity is on. I should be careful where I step and what I touch. What are you up to? I'm impressed. May I tie you up? What? No! That was a joke. And what are we gonna do with it now? Any ideas? I'll fasten the rope up here, so we don't lose it. Then I'll drop the free end down the well. that people were locked up in the cage. It must have been used for something else. What the heck's a cage doing down here in the middle of the catacombs? Good to know. I could lock up unwelcome visitors in here. It really would have been better to have taken a hotel room. Hmm. If I pull on the rope, that ought to be visible up above. If I pull on the rope, that ought to be visible up above. Hmm. If I pull on the rope, that ought to be visible up above.
Valentina. Yes. What do you think's going on with this cage? I don't think that's a cage, in the usual sense. How come? Isn't it a wonderful torture device, especially with the water? Oh, right. So that's your interpretation of a normal cage usage. Don't forget, I'm being possessed by an 800-year-old tyrant. Do any of these symbols around us mean anything to you? These symbols look like Pictish glyphs. Obviously an ancient form of writing. More than 6,000 years old. So, I'm wondering what business have they got being on these walls? Maybe one of my ancestors thought they looked nice? Do you know what they mean? Sort of. But don't ask me how you vocalize them. Have you got something special planned for the rope? I've got the rope hanging down the well. We could communicate with that. Just pull on it and I'll switch on the winch. Good idea. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Valentina's definitely not up there. Oh, excuse me. I'm just going up. Okay, hold your breath. Yeah, everything's fine. I'm okay. It's a little touch and go, that's all. Is everything really? Wow. I've never seen anything like this. Isn't that just so impressive? Well, uh, I'm so glad you like my humble wine cellar. 